have a new friend. So a little story behind this doll. I saw this doll a while ago and I absolutely fell in love with her and I couldn't find her anywhere. So I forgot about her for a while and on a whim I checked eBay and I got her for $8. It does look like there's some scuffing. I, I, you can tell she's never been out of box, but it's just I guess she was jostled around a lot at some point or something like that. But she is a Mystics Rococo zombie. And uh, from what I understand, there are two of these. And I did see hauls of both of them together. But I like the green skin one. And when I think of zombies, I think more green skin than purple skin. The purple one's lovely, but I just really like the green one. And the sort of gimmick behind these is that their head turns. So they all have two faces, one that's like the monster face and one that's like the regular everyday face. I'm going to be keeping this box. I'm taking her out of box because I definitely want to at least fix up her nose. And uh, what I love about it is where else are you going to find a Victorian zombie at, right? Like it's one of those... She's one of those, like, knock-off-y kind of dolls. But I just love that kind of stuff, because you're not going to find that anywhere else. If you want to read it yourself. So, those are three little clips right at the bottom, but the brush... Is really nice. I do really like the um, black and white print that her skirt has. And I really like the sort of ribbon that goes through it. Alright, I got her front to open. You could probably just display her like this. And it would be fine. It's just the doll as soon as you get the front open. So you could just display it sort of open and shut like that. That... Hopefully that's coming out. Yeah. There she is. She doesn't have anything else. Well, she has a few little... She has a little bit of plastic right here, but, like, you can actually touch her clothes as soon as you open the front. So the smearing is actually um, on the, the front of the box. Maybe this moved. This could have moved. The background's really pretty, too. I like when they put that little bit of molding effort into brushes so they're not just a plain brush. Barbie has a lot of like really plain brushes like that or at least my old ones do. And you know just immediately drop the brush whatever. I opened the little hair extension thing and here are the little three hair clips. Continuing with the cotton candy theme which I really like. This one's kind of like a bun I guess. This is curls. Unfortunately this one curl on mine's a little messed up. I might have to use some E6000 on that but that's another little curl and then there's just a little i don't know if it's supposed to be like that i'll probably just make that a little ponytail or something this one seems a little messed up yeah i'm gonna have to like brush that oh my goodness look how long that is the hair actually is nice and soft i still might um like condition this and to restyle it okay this box is definitely very collector friendly because she literally was just held in by three little wire ties. And she comes right out. So it would be very easy to repackage her. You can see, you don't have to destroy the box to take her out of it, which is really nice. I also noticed she has brown eyebrows, but purple hair. Let's take the plastic off. Ready? Two. It's a snap. That just comes off. So that must be the capelet skirt thing. So she can have a little cape or a little skirt. Here, I think you can take this off. You can. Okay, so this has a little... She does have two ears. Oh my god, look how cool that is. She's got two ears. Ah, that's so cool. Her head is so weird from the side. That's just like the only downside, I guess, for some people anyway. For me, I'm just like, ah, look how cool that is. Um, but for some people, the downside might be that the profile does look really weird. Or it's actually, like, got a little, it's, like, in there, and it's got a little thing. And yeah, I kind of like the braided side better for the front than the other side, because it frames the face really nicely. 
I also really like the dress. The only downside is the top of the stockings don't match the dress that well. I would love if the stockings were like the same as this cyan y tealy kind of color, but instead it's this blue that kind of there's no other blue on the outfit like that. I wish that matched a little better. She might need a petticoat or something like that to sort of puff that out a little more. I also know she's kind of bow-legged. Her knees kind of stick out. Um, and she's a zombie. She's supposed to hobble. The head has eh, got a little bit of bobble. Nothing much. The main thing behind this, of course, is supposed to be the spin. Um, she's a little bit Monster High inspired, let's be real here. She's similar to Monster High's. She actually, her hips actually are smaller and the torso actually is larger. Um, which I actually really kind of like the larger torso. She is, she is different from a Monster High. It's not just like a straight Monster High lift, but you can tell it's supposed to, you know, appeal to Monster High collectors, which... Guilty as charged. <laughs> no big surprise here, but a little tiny tug of a head and it will come off. The neck joint is just a simple ball joint. It's not anchored on. So if you have kids, that might be something to worry about. But if you're someone who likes to mess with doll heads and doll bodies like me, this is just a bonus. So I just spent a little time working on her. Um, she got new hair, so she has this really big wig, this, uh, sweater yarn. And I actually took the braids out of the circle, and I clipped them on too. And this is two different of the hair extensions that I glued together and put on top. This also comes off, so I can easily just take all of the add-ons off. Um, I touched up her face. So I just cleaned up the glitter a lot, and I cleaned up the eyelashes a lot, and uh, I added glitter to the eyes. I just kind of touched up the paint. I got rid of the scuff mark. The other face I didn't touch, and I don't want to move it right now because I don't want to mess up the wig. This one, I touched up her eyebrows too, and the other one I didn't touch at all. And uh, the outfit, I cut the ribbons off the sleeves. The sleeves are still in one piece, but um, I did cut them off. And I glued them to the front and I added these rhinestones. This uh, jacket is from an Ever After High doll. And I added rhinestones to the skirt. So here are the new shoes. And I added pink bows to the socks. It was really hard for me to get the outfit to go with the socks. And what I wound up doing is on her wrists little bracelets that are blue so you have the blue bra bracelet with the pink shirt and then I figured the blue socks with the pink bows would work and I think I finally got that whole outfit to work uh and then with the hair too oh and I did I did give her a petticoat so she has a little so those are my improvements so I decided to paint her nails and to my surprise her hands actually pop off so that's how I painted them, but you can see how the hands don't bend. They're just a peg. So she bends at the elbow, but not at the at the hand. And um, did I ever show her knees bending? I don't know. They they bend like they bend pretty nice. And here she is next to two of my monster highs. We have Bonita Femur on the left, who I named Fracture. And we have Widona Spider on the right, who I named Variolus. And these are just two of my monster highs, but this is why I decided to give her the wig in the end, because I wanted her head to fit next to these guys. And while I have her standing next to my monster highs, you can see how different her legs are. You can see how bow-legged she is, and since she is supposed to be a zombie, that really doesn't bother me. But you can see how the monster high legs are much straighter. And having her sit here, you can see how much thinner her legs are next to the sort of thicker shins on the monster highs. Also, their hands are indeed different. You can see the... Mystic's hands are a little bigger and just sculpted a little differently. Well, okay, maybe they're a little similar, but whatever.
Mystic stalls are just the marshmallow mateys of Monster Heights. Whatever, they're equally as delicious. Don't judge me. And with that, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that she is going to be done for me. I do this with a lot of dolls. I just kind of add my own personal touches to them. So she's more like a ghoul than a zombie. And also the name tag. Um, I do that to all my dolls too. Coquille. I believe is how it's pronounced. It's the French word for shell, and it's part of the words that make up Rococo. Surprise, she still fits in the box perfectly fine. So that doesn't mean that I can just leave her original packaging alone, or I can take this plastic part out and repackage her if I decide to. Or whatever. <laughs> 